How's it going everyone and welcome to something kind of new. Well, actually not very new because I played Halo Reach on the channel like six years ago at this point. And I had a blast playing that game so you know what dude, it's a brand new year, 2017. Let's play some old classics remastered. That should be perfect, shouldn't it? So I'm, I'm going to be playing through most of the Halo games on the channel every Tuesday and Thursday. I think that should be good to separate some of the other stuff I'm going to be doing this year. So if you guys are excited, don't forget to leave a like because this is something that I'm just going completely out of my comfort zone and just starting something new. So without further ado, everybody, let's get this started playing Halo CE Combat Evolved. Fantastic. Let's go into missions. Uh, we can't really resume because I started this already for whatever reason. So let's go right into mission one. We're going to be playing on normal mode because uh, I'm not that pro at this game, which some say I might have, but in this case, not really. Anyways, <laughs> let's get this started, everybody. Going right into the first cutscene of the game and seeing who Master Chef actually is. Wow. Cortana, all I need to know is, did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. <sighs> we made a blind jump. How did they- Get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes? Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS-class battle groups. Make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to Combat Alert Alpha. I want everyone at their station. Everyone, sir? Everyone. And Cortana. Hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Attention, all combat personnel. Please report in your action statement. Platoon, secure airlocks on deck 11. 14th platoon, rendezvous with 22nd tactical at Boathead Charlie 14. You heard the lady. Move like you got a purpose. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Once again, it is our job to finish with the Flyboy started. We are leaving this ship, platoon and engaging the Covenant on solid ground. When we meet the enemy, we will rip their skulls from their spines and toss them away laughing! Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! Mm-hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out! Double time! Attention all personnel. We are re-engaging the enemy. External and internal contact imminent. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close, this is gonna be your lucky day. Sure? Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. Bringing low-level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. He's hot! Blowing the pins in five! Oh. 
Wow, what a great nap. <laughs> so welcome to the revival. We're going right in. Things are a little hectic right now. Oh yeah, you don't say. Should pass quickly. Welcome, Welcome back, back, sir. We'll hey, what's up, bro? Ooh, self-diagnostic. Look around the room. I need Ooh. to get a calibration reading for your battle suits diagnostics. Good. Thank you, sir. I'll no problem, bro. Monitors online, sir. Oh, we have some health too. That's new in these games. Vital signs look normal. <laughs> no freezer burn. Okay. Great sir, joke, pal. Climb out of the cryo tube. It's time to walk out of the cryo tube. I gave you a double dose of the wake up stim. Take a quick walk around the cryo bay and join me at the optical diagnostic station when you're ready. Thanks, crew deck. Appreciate it, man. So the cool part about this remastered version is that you can actually change back to the old graphics. So if you hit the select button, it'll change back to the old way that this looked and it's just so cool to go back and forth between how it looks just to see sensors, but we're short of time chief Whoop. Just look at each of the flashing panels to target them when I did that already on, dude color. <laughs> okay that looks good sir I'm getting some inverted please I need it I'm going to invert your looking pitch so you can see if you like it better that way try targeting the flashing lights again is that better or should uh -huh. I try the other way we good Okay. Try looking up and down again, please. It's fine. Me leave it like that or switch it again? Uh, leave it like it is, dude. Okay. I'll leave the pitch normal. But if you want, you can change it yourself later. So this is the main tutorial of this location. You can, uh, change your settings in the settings menu, obviously. But this part is a mandatory until you hit heroic mode, which is the next step above normal mode. So that's pretty cool. Let's go get our shields. Shields, please. I need him. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, dude. You're very, very kind. Shield read is fully charged. Okay, sir. Bring them down to test the automatic recharge. Oh no, we're screwed now. So this is just to test our shield regeneration. Recharging normal. We're showing green across the board. Bridge to Cryo 2. This is Captain Key. Send the Master Chief to the bridge immediately. Captain, we'll have to skip the weapons diagnostics and On I- the double, crewman. Aye, aye, sir. The skipper seems jumpy. We'd better get moving. We'll find you weapons later. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go! Oh god! They're trying to get <gasps> the door! Security! Oh god, friend! Oh no. <gasps> it's- it's an elite, dude. Let's go. Let's follow this freaking guy. Come on, buddy. Oh. Oh. Sir? <laughs> Are you okay? No, he's not. He's dead. He is definitely dead. And that sucks, dude. That really does suck because he was one of the main people of the game. And now we never know his backstory anymore. That was sarcasm, everybody. Because he just dies there all the time. It doesn't even matter whatsoever. Oh. The blast doors go up. That's nice. Glad they, glad they do that now. We can duck using the left stick. We can run past these elites. He will shoot us, but they won't actually kill us. Their rapid fire is not actually implemented right now, except for that guy for some reason. But yeah, we can go to the left side and do something else. Oh god. Hey, girl. How's it going? I'm gonna walk over here. You can't stop me. See ya. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, he locked it on us. Okay, that just sucks, dude. That just sucks. Hi. You don't say. Okay, well, get a move on, soldier. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh no, are you okay, brother? I'm sorry. Sorry this happened to you. I will avenge you, sir. I will avenge you. With my master chef powers. Obviously. I am the best chef in the universe. Let's go talk to Captain Keats and see what he wants. Captain Keys. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen Covenant superior battleships against a single Halcyon class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three. Make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yes. So you did miss me. 
Report. It must have been one of their boarding parties. I'd guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am, fire control for the main cannon is offline. Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the autumn. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a manner of speaking. The object we found, I'm gonna try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. The protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Good luck, Master Chief. Your architecture isn't much different from the Autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find out as you go. So it looks like we got a virtual chick. And also an unloaded gun. Great stuff. Thanks, Captain Keys, for the ammo. Appreciate it, man. Hopefully I don't get into any trouble out of this hallway. Who knows? Oh, look. We have ammo now for some reason. Alright, so these enemies are called Grunts. They're like the main common enemy of this game. Well, like of the Covenant, actually. And up ahead are some Elites, along with some Grunts. Grunts can, like, throw... Oh, that's the wrong guy. Deuce. <laughs> uh, Grunts can throw, uh... Plas plasma Grenades? Yeah, that's what they're called. Same with Elites. Because that's their normal, uh, freaking grenades that they can use. Uh, well, let's just kill these guys. Because that's what this game entails. Killing things. I love it. Great stuff, man. And he's dead. See you later, buddy. Have a nice, uh, huge body full of lead now. Sorry about that, sir. Was not my intent. I'm a, I'm a pacifist, but... Apparently not in this game. Alright, die, sir. See you later, sir. <laughs> Bye, sir. See you later, sir. Great. <laughs> well, you always have to say hello and goodbye every time you see a sir. So, keep that in mind, everybody. Say hello to sirs and goodbye to sirs. It's always a fun time. Let's hit him right in the back of the... Whoa. Whoa. We just snuck attack him, dude. We just sneak attack him. Great stuff, man. Holy crap. Oh. Hello. Oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. They infiltrated the base by going through, like, these locks or something? Let's go inside and see uh, what they have in here. Oh, look. It's an overshield. Great. So basically what this does is that it gives you more shields. Obviously, that's what the name is. And you can take more damage. It's pretty useful, actually. Well, not so much in this game, just because uh, you, you don't really get it unless you are, like, right near one of those capsules for the Covenant. But in the future games, they're very, very, very useful because they're more spread out and more prominent in the locations that we're going to. Let's continue on. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Oh, hello, Mr. Grunt, sir. Look, you have another friend here. Let's hit him in the back of the face. Yo! Back of the face time! Not really. They're still coming after us. Alright, sir. Just come over here. It's fine. You're gonna die soon anyways. Yep. Rip the dream, dude. Rip his dream. That is very unfortunate at this point. So in this game, the pistol does have a scope, which is pretty nice. Uh, in Halo 2, it, do it does not. Um, from what I can remember. Or is that 3? I'm, I'm, I'm really getting them confused at this point. Maybe when we actually played them, I will recall which, uh, fe which features they actually, uh, freaking negated. But, we killed him again. Cool stuff. Is everything good, guys? Is everything good in where you're located? Great. Well, let's proceed. 
and hopefully not get killed too much. Or just kill everything that we see in sight. Seeing in sight. Great. <laughs> uh, half of the time, like, I'm saying stuff and it's just like the same exact adjective or sa same exact scenario that I'm talking about. See with sight, dude. That's what happens when you have eyes. <laughs> oh my lord. As as you can tell, I haven't, I haven't really been commentating that much recently, so that's probably why this, it's been kind of awkward at this point, but only like two slip-ups at this point, so that's pretty nice. Um, hmm. Grunts galore. We lost our overshield, but luckily for us, we have another one of these capsules, which has another overshield. Well, actually two. And we can have, I'll be, if we have another overshield, will that do anything? Nope, we can't even pick it up because we're already over on the shield, so. That wouldn't tell that we can actually, uh, you know, have more of an overshield than an overshield. Oh god, he died. I'm sorry, sir. We have 120 rounds. Are you serious? That's insane, dude. That's literally insane. My type of stuff, too. So at this point, we didn't really have to pick up any med kits. Uh, but as you can see, they're on the walls, which is pretty nice. You can pick them up when you're low on health. Probably should show that off, right? Hit me, sir. Whatever. I'm tired of waiting. My retention on that situation got, was gone out the window in about two seconds. <laughs> so this is probably one of the hardest parts of this location. We have to climb up the staircase. What? Okay. Thanks for telling me that I lost connection to Xbox Live. I don't even have Xbox Live. What are you talking about, dude? I didn't pay for that crap. Anyways. <laughs> Let's kill these guys. But as I was saying, it's probably one of the hardest parts of this location if you're playing on a harder difficulty. Because you have to climb up the freaking staircase while trying to save your men who are trying to kill the grunts and the elites as well. Which, uh, I, I must say, the, um... These AI are not the best suited for the job in the higher difficulties. Most of the time, you're just doing all the stuff yourself. Kind of like what you're doing right now, but in a more, uh, in a more prominent scale. That's the word, prominent. That's clearly what I was trying to say right there. You're welcome. Let's kill these guys in the dark, because for, for some reason, they just want to have a little chill party in the dark. Wait, uh, w which one is the flashlight like cuz I'm pretty sure we have a flashlight uh, they, might, they might have taken that out uh, no I mean, we have a flashlight it's the up on the d-pad if, if you guys are wondering because I know all you guys were so concerned uh, but yeah <laughs> let's kill this uh, elite again he looks so weird doesn't he? he's just like I'll eat your soul great joke TJ what is this <gasps> is that like Jupiter dude looks so nice so beautiful. What's up? Okay. Well, <laughs> have a wonderful day, sir. See you later. Wait a minute. <gasps> go, life pods, go. Save yourself from this horrible demise of the covenant. We don't need this, dude. We don't need this at all. So looks like there's some more grunts over here that we can kill. Let's kill them, dude. Very nice stuff. I appreciate it. Also, some more life pods here that we can take, but unfortunately for us, they're already gone. Uh, so we can't actually use them. Obviously, you know, we can't just jump out of a freaking pod and hope we live, right? So there's a wave point here, which is red for some reason. Remember, in the games, it used to be blue, but apparently they changed that for whatever reason. X with the flashlights. It's also up on the D-pad. Thank you very much, game. It can't go through there at, at this point. It's locked. We probably need a key for this. Which is unfortunate. This is not Zelda. There's not gonna be any keys. Obviously. Good Nintendo joke, TJ. Because, uh, most of your audience is Nintendo, but... <laughs> hopefully people, uh, continue on watching this stuff, too. That'd be pretty nice. Um, hmm. Let's go and break through the door. Yo, baby! That was pretty nice, wasn't it? So, as you can see, there's, like, a radar at the very bottom. It only goes off when they move or if they uh, shoot something. So when they shoot, you can see that it pops up as red or or if they move. I don't really remember which one it is, but we'll see in a few seconds, won't we? So for me, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure my radar freaking goes up when I move. 
Yeah, look. So like when I move, it turns yellow. When I stop moving or shooting, it turns off. Okay, that makes sense. Wow, we're learning something new every day, everybody. Wow. Amazing stuff. And he's dead too? Clearly. He's clearly dead. And look, that was the health pack, everybody. You're so, so concerned about noticing how to use it. Um. Yeah, let's go through here. <laughs> oh my lord. Let's continue on and hopefully, you know, kill these elites who are here. Hey, buddy. What's up? Hey, those are the same guys who we saw up here. They finally came down over this way. Or, and just some new elites who were like, hey, I was here about five minutes ago. Let's take on this master chef, dude. He needs to die. Oh, there's another side too? That, that, that doesn't make any sense to me. But apparently it's like the same stuff on the monitors, which does not make any sense. But maybe it's like a two-sided monitor. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. To be uh, frank and fair. But let's go. Oh god, he blew up. I'm sorry. Well, it was blue after all. Wait, he's still alive. How? How are you still alive, sir? You like blew the entire universe away with your awesome grenade. I was so I was so intrigued by your uh, self confidence to just blow yourself up and then like come after me still. All right, some more fantastic dungeon crawlers. It's not really a dungeon crawler, it's just like one of those tunnels that you have to go through for maintenance for the Pillar of Autumn. But, uh, there's two ways we can go. We can go through this way, which is, I think it's a quicker way, right? No, this is the way that they'll see us. Let's go the way that we can actually sneak up on these guys, because even though they already saw us, it's not really going to help us out that much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Well, it's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we could have actually, like, snuck up behind these dudes. But it's not that big of a deal, because it's not normal. So it's not that big of a problem to take on these guys pretty quick. Senses are pretty, uh, hard to say. That's the third time. <laughs> third time's a charm. Let's go, everybody. This is, like, the final, uh, the, the final case in point of this location. The final battle. Can we do it? I'm hoping we can. If not, then we're going to be totally uh, out of luck. Our uh, life pod will not be there. At, at this point, this guy is just trying to melee us to death, which is not going to work out very well, dude. Not going to work out very well. We can just finish him off, right? Sir, where you at? <laughs> Sir? Uh, no? All right, well. <gasps> Where's he at? <laughs> Where's he at? Right there, obviously. Clearly. Throw grenades. We got some grenades, dude. Kill everybody. Yo, we did it, dude. Oh. It launched the guts in. <laughs> Great. Now would be a very good time to leave. Punch it. Ah, sir. We're disengaged. Going for minimum safe distance. Chief, can you hear me? No, I cannot hear you. 
Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this first episode of Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. In the next episode, we'll take on the next level or mission, if you want to call it that. Uh, don't really know how long these episodes will go on, depending on how long the mission is. I'm thinking about like 30 minutes each episode, and if it goes over, that's fine, but I'll probably just try to keep it 30 minutes so that it'll be more concise and organized. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this once again, and I'll see you.